guys uh, welcome back to another video today we will be talking about a technical uh, solutioning within uh, process mining specifically within salonus i'll be uh, giving you some ideas about the data engineering uh, work that happens within salonus for people who are already working on sql server who does some kind of data pipelining or like you know some kind of sql queries or if you work with databases like you know and data within that to write different transformation and this is for you guys or if you already work with azure like azure data factory to build a pipeline to pull data from a system and uh, do some transformation and pushing into a database this is the right kind of person no, for this area of uh, process mining generally people with this kind of skill set would be perform performing this kind of role and it is a very complex role okay within the area of process mining so if you master this uh, you would know in an hour of process mining let's get started with that but before that if you enjoy the content i make please consider subscribing to my channel and also like this so now exploring the data engineering side of things let me give a quick tour of salonus so this is the salonus ems which is execution management system so they rebranded as ems because uh, they don't want to call themselves as process mining vendor okay, why because what they're doing is they're trying to solve problem within business execution so what do i mean by that okay, before when they started they used to take all the historical data or the data from the systems to get intelligence and uh, give that intelligence to uh, people to improve the process but today what they're doing is they take the intelligence and also this remediate the problems uh, with the help of uh, action engines or action flows which is more like a low code no code uh, solutioning they have within the company and how they built that was they acquired a company called integromat which is more like a zapier and they have integrated that system of within salonus so basically if salonus uh, ems that is the front end part of okay, if they, if it identifies any exceptions if they already know what is the remediation for that they can build that workflow within the action flow that is part of that is within integromat and that would trigger uh, based on schedules or based on some triggers and it will solve the problem then and there so now like if you see the areas okay they have studio so studio is where you build the front end analysis but it is not a, a published version it is more of a development side so within studio you can actually build a package so if you want to build a, it's more like a project yeah package is like a project we build a project within projects you can create use analysis skills knowledge model action flow data explorer simulation and folders too yeah so this is the this is where the data analyst okay within uh, salonus would work to build the analysis yeah uh, the data engineer will work in the data area which is more like the data integration which i will go into the details but before that uh, whatever analysis that has been built within studio if you publish it let's say if i click on publish package it will go into an area called app which is called which can be given access to the end user who can use that to perform any kind of business analysis or like you know get insights uh, from the analysis that has been developed etc uh, etc et yep now specifically getting into the data engineering side as i promised okay so if i move into the data integration you would see that so you can create a new data pool so so this is a training version what i have but in reality in ems where i have worked uh, for clients okay so uh, that would be similar to this but slightly little bit more advanced okay we won't see everything there so if i create a new data pool right now it says start with the process connector template uh but uh, uh, like you know so there you can actually uh, like you know create from scratch uh, like you know you can give a data pool let's say test data pool you give okay so so this is how it looks okay it's a very nice diagram it shows what we have done it will pictorially it shows let's say if i've extracted uh, uh, 10 uh, 100 different tables from five different systems it would show all of that it will be 100 extractions and five different connections yeah 
and the number of transformation you make okay it should be there and the number of model belts whatever your belt okay showed here and finally how many models are used to build the analysis in the studio all of this this would show okay within this but within this particular diagram that is the data source where it is coming from integration is where you write the etl okay so extraction transformation and load and the model build and finally how that model is used to uh, build the front end analysis so let's look at something that has been built already so let me look at this now let me think okay so i don't have anything automatically built yet but the way it works is let's say you want to connect to a data source you click this so right now since it is a training system i have it says only upload files they give the upload files for free for people so that you can upload flat files and uh, like you know connect to that flat files and use that data uh, to build the analysis but in reality okay, so you would have on premise system cloud systems and also they have pre built connectors let's say you want to connect to oracle they have pre built oracle connector you just have to configure it okay, with the right uh, uh, like you know server names user id and password uh, and you can directly connect into the system and pull the relevant tables uh, from the back end of oracle so that's how it works yeah so but right now it is only flat files that's what the profile here so once you get all the data there then within transformation you can uh, like you know once you get all the connections there you can do the extraction let's say you have extracted 10 tables from oracle and if you want to perform some kind of transformation so transfer seeds right now seeds it's because like you know i'm a like you know training user but in reality how it looks like uh, in transformation let's say with that uh, 10 tables what you have extracted let's say you want to build multiple different uh, activities so that you can build a data model with that so you need to have some idea of process mining basics generally it works with the activity model uh, and also it works with the other case models so activity is for a process all the list of activity that has been there within the process that model would hold so basically that uh, Uh, data model will hold to build that data model you have to write transformations to build one activity you need to know what is the logic to build that activity and you have to write that uh, code within transformation so that that activity is built from the data that has been extracted so likewise case is more like uh, used to slice and dice uh, let's say a particular process let's say purchase to pay uh, you build the activity model let's say you want to know you want to slice that overall process by let's say region or country company codes or you want to see um uh you want to see what kind of uh, material category of okay, this particular process is run for uh, all those would come as part of the case tables so finally the data model will be you have to write joins between or like you know create the relationship between the different uh, transformation you have made and you make the final data model so that would be used uh, as a final uh, output to build the actual analysis so you would take the finalized uh, data models and the tables that has been built using that as a source you would build the various uh, analysis so that's how the overall data engineering works but one point i would like to add is like you know see this is one of i said so connect to a data source and pull but probably you can run this whole pipeline in real time so if you configure this like you know based on some schedule let's say every night every uh, day of okay, 9 9 pm this has to run automatically 9 pm this would trigger all the extractions all the transformation would be run <coughs> excuse me all the data models would be uh, re- refreshed and finally the analysis would be refreshed in the studio too yeah um, and also delta loads are more like uh, if you want to build this on real time so this can be done one as one as i said of using scheduling or you can use a uh, trigger based let's say something changes based on that uh, change okay you can activate this overall pipe so that's how this overall data engineering works i mean i told in a very simpler way but in reality this is quite complex yeah uh just a quick tip on like you know how the front end analysis looks like so this one is a built one like if you see you'll have a overview dashboard something like this but this is again from the training platform some dummy data uh, so this is for uh, i think so 
is uh, P2P, the Tokyo to pay. So they have built some analysis. This is the variant explorer. So this is more like how the, like what are the variation in the process you add it. Okay, you'll see multiple variations. And likewise, different, uh, like, you know, for the dashboards are built. I, I think this is very specific to days payable outstanding. So this is from the business angle, if you notice, okay, this is basically uh, how many days do you take on an average to pay your suppliers? So higher, it is better. The lower, which means like, you know, you're giving out all the cash. So if the days is higher, okay, which means you have a better control over your, uh, like, you know, working capital. So that's what it says. So can it provides you where all, like, you know, there is a problem and you will identify the different uh, gaps. Uh, and for that, okay, you can find the root causes and probably build an action flow to remediate the root cause. This is on a very high level. So I hope, like, you know, this would have given you some good idea. So I think so. Uh, people who wants to get into the area of analysis, you, so right now I've not shown the actual analysis. So you can go edit and you can actually build components. Okay, this is the front end analysis. An analyst would build dashboards like this. And a data engineer would actually build the data pipelines and the overall transformation of the data models. So that's a key difference. Uh, I hope this video would have given you some good idea of like, you know, how it works. But probably if you do the training, you'll get a very uh, detailed idea. So if you have any doubts or any questions, feel free to put in the comments and I will uh, try to answer them. Yeah. I think that's it from me, guys, for today. If you enjoy this uh, content, please go ahead and uh, like this video. and Consider subscribing to my channel. I'll try coming up with more videos in this area of data process analysis, or process transformation or mining. I hope uh, that would help someone somewhere. That's the whole point of me doing this videos. I'll soon come up with another video. Until then, you guys take care. Have a good day.